The Bay of Conception for us has been pretty awesome. And now it's time to go to the next stop, which is... Mulahe. Mulahe. Mulaho, Mulahe. No, just Mulahe. Mulahe. Mulahe is, I think, maybe our favorite Mexican town. Yeah. It's, it's, it's strange. We'll, sh we'll show you why. <laughs> and we'll link back to the other video when we were there on our way down. But it's just this, it's a cool little town and it's a Mexican town. There are some expats there, but it doesn't feel overrun with expats. It's just, it's a cool little town. And today we saw a flyer. They're actually doing a fundraiser for raising money to pay for kids to go to school. In Mexico, kids, the government only pays for school. I think it's through eighth grade or so. And then if you don't have money, you don't continue on with your education. So Mulahe is really community involved. Um, there's the Rotary organization there couple other organizations but this I believe is through the Rotary and they're raising money to help pay for kids to continue to go to school so there's a fun fundraiser while we're there we're gonna pull into town and go check that out um, but first this is a little bit of our leaving routine we have to take where we've been yeah, and put it all away and put it all away so we got a little bit of a, a mess going on Lindsay does Lindsay does the inside and I take care of the things on the outside and we kind of meet in the middle, would you say? Mm -hmm. Something like that. RV campground and we are all set up for I guess the next couple days. Yeah. We love Mulahe and we're gonna go wander the town. First we have to see if our bikes work. Yeah. When's the last time we took them down? I think when we were in Mulahe. Wow, really? No, we in Los Perillas. Yeah, we did use them in Los yeah, Perillas. But that's so. still been like over yeah, a month. It's, been, it's a been a while. And a lot of salt water and a lot of dirt. Yeah. Nice rusty chains. Let's see, my tire's a little low on air. Yours seems to be holding up. How did Evers get her name? Because she has to be on top of everything. Like the mountain. She jumped up here all on her own. Didn't coax her. What we love about Don Chano's is it is lush. It's like being in a rainforest. There's banana trees, papaya, mango. There's citrus. citrus that's blossoming now. It smells awesome. Tons of humming, hummingbirds. Lindsay's gonna have fun with the hummingbirds the next couple days. Mm -hmm. So it's a really cool place and it's been overcast almost every time we've been here. Yeah. So it, get, it gets quite a bit of rain and that's probably what explains the lushness but it is on the coast of the uh, Sea of Cortez, and it's an oasis in the sense that there's desert all around, but this area happens to be pretty fertile. Desert river. And there's a river right across the street. So we're gonna get the bikes down and then head on into town, see what's going on, see if we can't help out in some way. And worst case, we're just gonna enjoy being back in Mulahe. <music>
Everest loves her soccer ball. <laughs> but she never fetches. She never brings it back. Oh, she, she got, got it. it. <laughs> Boom! Ooh. Good girl. Wow. Get better at that. She make a great goalie. <laughs> you always get her. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> it just hit me in the head. <laughs> On the other. On the other. <laughs> First time Everest has had grass in a long time. She was rolling in it earlier. <laughs> she loves her grass. <laughs> Daddy's tickling you. Daddy's tickling you. Oh, he's got your tickle. He's got your tickle spot. He's got your tickle spot. Oops, he's got your hat. <laughs> We're on our way to the old hotel just outside of Muahe. Overlooks the Muahe River. Back in its heyday, it was awesome. Had people like John Wayne and the Rat Pack hanging out. Our friend Steve used to hang out here too, which is a really cool story. We're gonna go check it out. It's uh, it's in ruins now, pretty bad, but we'll let you use your imagination when you see it. Now you really have to use your imagination with this place, but this is the old hotel. belly flop where Steve a friend that we made called him out on the belly flop and they became fast friends
So Lindsay and I are going back to Florida. A bigger scale though.